Well, welcome back everyone. And thank you for tuning in today. I am going to attempt to make a sun visor using this placemat that I purchased at Big Lots, I think for like $1.99. I just really liked how you can kind of see through it and so yeah, I just I just like the way it looks. I just wanted to give it a try. Um, so I have already gone ahead and cut out a pattern for a visor using this um, visor that I purchased at Walmart. I just laid uh, some printer paper on there and traced it out pretty much um, minus my seam allowance. So I know when I cut, I need to um, add a seam allowance. So that's all I'm doing here. Is um, Now, you have to be careful when you cut on these placemats because they definitely will unravel quite quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I'm just going to pin this down. And I'm going to draw before I cut. So I'm going to keep this edge and I'm going to add my seam allowance all the way around using some chalk. This is a rough cut for sure. So yeah. So I'm going to let that be my guide. Um, so you are going to need some elastic for this project. This part of my hat, I'm going to use um, a pillowcase that I thrifted. I'm going to recycle. I think those two would look nice together. So we'll see. First thing I'm going to do is before I do any cutting is I'm going to stitch. Just take a white thread and stitch this out where I have traced to help keep it from unraveling while I'm working with it. I could probably um, use a walking foot and a, um, I, sh I probably could set my machine for denim. It has some settings over here for heavier fabrics, but I didn't. <laughs> so let's see what happens. I'm cutting my strips. Um, four inches total, 13 minus plus four, 17. Okay, yeah. Um, I love these little grid lines on the cutting mat. They help me out a lot. Okay. So this is going, oh, snagged it. This is going to go around my head. This is the actual headband portion of the sun visor and for me it needs to be 23 and a half inches long this piece and that's pretty perfect I'm just going to go ahead and cut my interfacing same width as my band it's going to be a little short and this is the heavier interfacing. Okay, so what I did with this strip, I'm going to open this up so you can see. As I pressed my um, fusible interfacing on to the wrong side of this fabric, then I folded it in half and pressed. Then on each end, I turned it under. Just a little bit. That's like what a quarter of an inch and pressed. So now it's laying nice and flat. Okay. And also one thing that I did on purpose is if you can see here, I deliberately left one side a little longer than the other. Kind of like you find on your um I think of the names of stuff this stuff <laughs> like I'm sorry I can't think of the name of it right now but anyway yeah you notice how whenever you use this one side is always slightly longer than the other because it it makes it um 
adhere better when you go to top stitch it on. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out just to the outside of my drawn chalk lines. I am a little nervous about this because usually when I use this material, I don't, I don't uh, cut through it like this to make my hats. But um, I've never made a sun visor doing something different with this material. And you need to make sure you use some scissors that you don't care much about for this. They need to be sharp, but I would not use my good fabric cutting scissors for this at all. So now I can try to get that chalk off because it's just, it's just a hot mess. It's getting everywhere. And to do that, the best thing to do is just to take a damp cloth and blot it out. I need to put some water on my cloth. Has anyone ever wondered what is meant by cutting on the bias? Well, I'll be happy to show you. So lengthwise, this is the straight grain and notice how I'm pulling, pulling, pulling and the fabric isn't giving. Widthwise, this is the cross grain. Again, I'll pull and nothing happens. But if you go in a diagonal fashion and you pull, bingo, in either direction, woo -hoo, you get all this wonderful stretch. And that, my friends, is the bias. So I have decided for the brim of my um, what do you call it? sun visor here that I am going to try to make a bias tape to go along the curve because a, a regular, um, if I cut it straight, it won't, it won't stretch and lay flat along this curve here. All right, all right, all right. So I took my bias tape, folded it in half, and that's where I got this um, crease, pressed that in. And then I took it and folded it in again like this. See? but I only did it on one side. I'm gonna leave the other side flat for now. And then I started pinning it on my brim, getting it lined up close to the edge, pinning right on that crease that's already pressed in. And so then when I turn it, this pressed edge right along here is gonna lay right on the edge of my hat all the way around. I'm going to start and I'm going to sew this all the way around, pulling a little bit as I stitch. Okay. All right. Hopefully now when I turn it, it'll be, yeah, that's what I want. I want to have a, see, that nice lip, a nice edge around it. Okay, now I am simply top stitching over the edge of the brim. Looking underneath to make sure everything is turned under. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Lord, Lord help.
see how this looks. Ooh, the top side looks nice. Hopefully the bottom. Yeah, bottom side looks nice too. All right, time to put the band on. Okay, so we have our um, binding sewn around the brim. And now we're going to add our band. And so this is going to be my center front right here where this peaks. So I'm going to take the right side. Pin it. Right side of my band and pin it to the right side of my hat, starting at the center. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pin that down then pin it all around and stitch. Pinning it down. I'm going to pin it all around and just stitch. I get excited you guys you guys know I get excited <laughs> so this is so cute look at that look at that little um placemat turned sun visor um I've just finished sewing the uh, band on it looks great from both sides um you could put extra fabric here if you want it for some of us who like wear makeup or um have oils in our hair um, you can easily just put like a piece of Velcro there and uh, make little strips where you can, you know, take it off and on so you don't have to worry about washing your hat. This um, fiber I would not put in the washing machine because of the placemat, but um, you can spot clean it. So now I just need to figure out my closure. And I think I'm going to do, there's a lot of options for closures. You can do hook, hook and loop. Sorry, I'm excited. Let me slow down. Hook and loop tape also known as Velcro. Um, you could do those little, um, like the swimsuit things, those little clasps that clasp in. I'll do some others, but for this one, I'm just going to do some good old elastic. So I'm just going to take a piece of elastic and I left this end open. I'm going to slip it in here, just like that. And just top stitch it in on both sides. Just a little small piece to give me enough to slip in and out of the hat and make it fit snug. This is where you do have to try. You do have to try this hat on several times during the process and make sure. I'm showing you guys. See how much room I left so I can have put my elastic in there. But yeah, you have to try it on several times to make sure that it's fitting um, the way you want during the process. I did want to say that I just, that's just one. So I have enough here from the same placemat to get another hat. And I think I'm gonna do another one and use like a dark denim to get some contrast around the edges. I think that'll be really, really cute. So yeah, um, that will be the final step for this one. And next we'll make, I'm gonna try making one from this placemat. Hey guys, this is the finished product. I'm outside and the sun is coming and going. Um, but um, this hat is definitely going to provide some shade from the sun. It does let just enough light in. Um, when the sun was out, oh, here it comes. You can see those little lines on my face. So um, with this product, it does let some light filter in through the hat but it's still super cute i hope you guys like it and give this a try you can get two um hats out of one placemat and i mean my goodness it's very fashionable it's unique it goes well with my light blue top it'll go with anything white of course anything in any shade of gray um, just because of the color choice i chose in the band but yeah I hope you guys like it. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe to my channel, and like the video. 
Thanks for watching. Oh, I am going to show you all the other one that I made out of the brown placemat. It's it's really cute as well. It looks, uh, oh, I, let me show it to you. It's great. It's great. And you don't have to use a placemat to make these. You could just use fabric, but I thought it was really cool. I wanted to give this a try and I think it turned out excellent. Hey friends, this is the brown placemat that I um, used to make this sun visor. And if you watch my video on how to make house slippers, you'll remember this looks a little familiar. It came off of a belt that I thrifted and I had some more pieces and I thought it looked really cool. I just hot glued it on this um, hat. So for this one, yeah, I just used some leopard fabric but yeah, it's just really easy to slip off and on. This one is giving me, let me see. This one is giving me full shade. The sun is out right now. As you can see, the sun is on my skin and my face is completely, there's no light on, on my face because it's completely um, shielding the sun off, which is, is what the purpose of a sun visor is, right? So yeah um, let me know which one you like best and let me know if you try it and as the sun comes out and shines really really bright I just wanted to say may the Lord's face shine upon you and may you remember his grace as the sun warms you this summer and um, just enjoy the light of the world be a light in the world and um, I'll catch you guys on the next one